Hello everyone, my name is Davik and thank you so much for tuning in to the video. Today, I wanted to continue on the internship tips that I have and talk about the application process for this video. With that said, let's get it started. My first tip is take advantage of the resources that your school might have. And you know, whether that's a job board or career counselor, there's a lot of different resources that a school can offer. A lot of universities spend a lot of money making sure that their students can be competitive. And so, you know, with a job board or with career counselors reaching out to companies, a university goes a lot of lengths to make sure that their students have the best opportunities uh, out there. Especially if your school has a school specific job board, sometimes big companies will put exclusive postings just for that job board that you can't necessarily find anywhere else externally. So make sure that you're tapping into that. And just in my experience, I think it's actually easier to get an interview through your school job board than it would be, you know, applying externally. And this is the caveat with it. With your school job board, employers already have taken into account that you're going to a certain university, you might be part of certain programs, and sort of what experience you might already have, that's already decided upon, you know, what type of, maybe what term you're gonna be working on, what projects you're gonna be working on. Well, when you're applying externally, there's a lot of different factors that rule around with that. And to add on top of that, you know, the competition is a lot more fierce because more people can see it externally. So make sure that you're tapping into that resource with the job board. Specifically, if you go to the University of Waterloo, I have an article which I can link down below where I talk about my tips specifically for Waterloo Works, uh, which is Waterloo's job portal system. So yeah, if you go to Waterloo, definitely check that out. I think it'd be really helpful. My second tip is on applying externally. Uh, and for that, there's a lot of great resources. My go-to websites are usually LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed, and Jumpstart. And all of them offer some pretty great resources, uh, whether you're going for full-time or internships uh, to help you out. In particular, my strategy when it comes to LinkedIn, Glassdoor, and Indeed is I think about sort of what location I want to work at um, and sort of you know what area I want to intern at. Go through the massive pile of uh, listings under the posted all time. Uh, one by one just to see you know what type of posting that they have but after you know go on it every day and check the postings by 24 hours in that way I don't have to go through the giant list again to know what new postings were posted um, and at the same time I can take best advantage of those websites and all three of those have a similar thing where you can filter by date so definitely make sure you're taking advantage of that that's why I do at least with Jumpstart, it's a little bit unique. Uh, it's focused just on internships. It's more of a newer platform, not as general as something like LinkedIn, Glassdoor, uh, or Indeed. So you can find the new postings. Usually it's not too hidden, uh, but you can't necessarily do uh, something like that like you would with LinkedIn, Glassdoor, and Indeed. But at the same time, Jumpstart is a great resource and I definitely recommend it. Uh, a lot of companies have hopped onto it. I know Lyft and and some other ones have so definitely check it out on top of that actually check out angelist and some of you might not have heard angelist before but basically it's a job board for startups and especially if you're starting out trying to get a job your first internship or if you want some really great hands-on experience startups are the way to go and angelist offers a lot of great internships in there so definitely check angelist out uh, there's some great opportunities in there as well my third tip is don't make a half-baked cover letter. Now, what I mean by that is a lot of times people put a cover letter with an application because they think they have to, but most of the times uh, you don't have to unless the posting says so. And in general, even if the posting doesn't say so and you want to, really think about should you be doing it or not. If you're making a cover letter, you have to make sure that you're putting a lot of effort into it because if you don't, I guarantee two or three people would have. At that point, if you're going for a cover letter, you have to put a lot of effort into it or just don't. Honestly, like for me, I tend to not make cover letters because I think my resume does a lot of the speaking for me. And yeah, unless it's required, I don't see the need for it. I know a lot of people might disagree with me on this one, but just based on my own personal experience, that's what I've learned. But of course, you know, some of you guys are great writers. Um, and if you really are passionate about a job, then of course, by all means, make that cover letter, but make sure that you're putting the time and effort into it or else there's no point. My fourth tip is try reaching out to recruiters and you know, whether it be virtual, especially right now with Corona or you know, and be in person, the moment your resume goes in front of a recruiter, your chance of getting that job pretty much go up twofold. Now, to be completely honest, if you are reaching out to a recruiter online through LinkedIn or through an email, your chances of them seeing your email 
are pretty slim, but at the same time, if they do, then there's a lot of benefit. And like I said, your chances of getting the job go up twofold. So I would say don't just, you know, reach out to recruiters, make sure that you're applying online and on your school job board. Uh, because like I said, it is a very slim chance. Thousands of people are reaching out to these people, um, especially university recruiters. So uh, I, ca I can only imagine what their inbox looks like. And no matter how much more time you put in your subject headline and, and your message, uh, sometimes just with the sheer amount of messages these guys get, your, your message might be lost. Now, if you're watching this, you know, post Corona, uh, hopefully there's career fairs and stuff still around if it's not all digital by now. And in that case, you know, make sure you're reaching out and networking with those recruiters. I know a lot of people at Waterloo just go to info sessions to get free food. I mean, me included in first year, uh, but genuinely, you know, making connection with the recruiter can go a long way. So if you go to a career fair or you go to an info session, make sure that you're taking advantage of that because that can really help you out. Honestly, I'll probably make another video where I talk about networking more in depth, but just for the purposes of this video, definitely like applying through reaching out to recruiters is a good way to go, um, especially if it works out. My fifth and final tip, and you might've heard this before if you looked at my resume tips video, and if you haven't, I'll leave that in the bio or in the top right of the screen suggested right now, but it's apply everywhere. I feel like a lot of people are usually discouraged from applying because you know maybe a job asks for a second year and you're a first year or you're missing one of the 10 requirements in the job posting, but you know, I personally believe you should apply everywhere and you never know what a recruiter might see in your application that you don't. Uh, you don't know what the circumstances might be. Like maybe they put out a big list of requirements that they don't necessarily have to match. Um, and so make sure that you're applying. You never know what will happen. There are companies where they have an application limit over a certain time period. So don't just spam applications in there if it's one of those companies. But at the same time, you never know about those positions. Apply everywhere also means generally like apply everywhere and make sure you're trying all the methods that I told you. Don't just stick to applying through a school's job board or just applying externally or just reaching out to recruiters. Make sure you're doing all three in tandem. I know it can be tedious, but at the end of the day, you want to maximize the opportunities available for you. So don't just settle for one of these three. Make sure that you're doing all three because you never know my, what might end up in your plate. That's all I have for this video. Definitely stay tuned. Uh, for more internship tip videos coming in the future. And if this video could be helpful, maybe like, subscribe. Uh, definitely helps out the channel a lot. I hope you guys are having a good time at school and you have a good internship hunt. But with that said, guys, take care and peace.